Hi, this is Mr. Williamson, and I'm going to discuss uh, external fish anatomy in this video. You probably want to have your uh, terms that I handed out to you in the packet and the fish diagrams ready to go. Um, going to go over all the parts of the external anatomy and uh, then have another video for the internal anatomy. Here we go. All right, we're looking at the external fish anatomy. This is a diagram. Uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the caudal fin, which is uh, over here. That's the rear fin. So, um, and in the caudal fin, obviously, it's this over here. And it's the fin that's for propulsion on the fish. It drives the fish forward. And you can take a look at um, how it goes forward. There's a video on the website, bioapes.com, that um, shows you how fish move forward. Um, here's just another example of that. It's kind of a diagram. You can see where um, the fin it pushes the water down this way and then as it comes back it'll push it this way and up at the top there's different versions of the fin um, like uh, in, a, in an eel the entire body is involved so the entire body would be be undulating um, and a salmon it's more just the back half the front half stays uh, steady and the back half moves same thing in this one a tuna, the, the fin is the shape of the fin actually is really, really well designed to move the fish forward a lot uh, faster. It's a very, very fast fish. And in addition, you've got the very uh, aquadynamic body, hydrodynamic body, and um, it, it's a very, very strong swimmer, very fast, can go long distances um, well. And then this one over here uh, is, is not a fast swimmer, but the body stays steady. Well, the, the tail is just is the thing that moves. And it's just, again, I'm just showing you this as an example of what the caudal fin does. It's, it's how does the caudal fin work. So, um, Next up, we're going to talk about the, uh, 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 the pectoral and anal, uh, pectoral and pelvic fin. Pectoral fin is here. Um, And then the pelvic fin is this one down here. Um, the pelvic fin is uh, down, think of it, your body. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, think of your body. I have the a die the key here. Well, sorry about that. It's it's here. Um, the, the pectoral fin is here. And the pelvic fin is down here. Um, and, and think of your body. Like I said, your, your pelvis is down the bottom. Your pectoral is up on your chest. Kind of like this. Um, these are your pectoral muscles up here and then your pelvis is down here so you have the uh, pectoral fin at the top of the fish and the pe pelvic fin down the bottom of the fish so you have uh, something like this again kind of reviewing it again um, this is the pectoral fin up near the top where your chest would be and the pelvic fin down the bottom where your hips would be or your pelvis would be and again take a look at it um, you have pectoral muscles and you have the pelvis pectoral and pelvis so uh, next we're going to take a look at um, oops, uh, the dorsal fin here and we're going to take a look at the anal fin which is near the anus so um, take a look at those the dorsal fin is up near the top the dorsal fin it's on the top think of uh if you did that we did the uh, earthworm if you did the earthworm the dorsal blood vessels along the top of the worm the dorsal fin is along the top of the fish and then you have the anal fin right here well the anus is right there and so it's the fin that's near the anus so um all of these fins all the fins that are here the the dorsal fin um the anal fin the pectoral fin and the pelvic fin are all used for orientation um, and steering, whereas the caudal fin is propulsion. That's what drives the fish forward. So you don't really need to know those. Again, sometimes it's just nice to know those things, and, and that's what I'm trying to help you out here. All right, so those are the fins. Uh, a couple other things you'd want to take a look at here are the uh, uh, is the lateral line. It's this, uh, that's a poor job of tracing it. This line right here, and it's used for sensory, and uh, it's, it hears, feels vibrations in the water. If you were to splash the water, it would feel it. It's the, uh, the, the 
um, line that you, if you were a shark, you felt and you, there was a fish thrashing around, you would sense it with that that part of your body. Um, and it's also, uh, uh, it, it, it's kind of like the ears, okay? Um, you have the scales, which you can see all the scales here, okay, and all, all over the fish. Um, the scales are just the integument system for the fish. It's where they, you know, it's their skin. Um, you obviously, you can see the mouth, hopefully you know where that is, and the eye. Uh, the mouth is for eating and also breathing, it, it, not breathing, respiration. Uh, the, the, the water goes in and it goes in here uh, in this area and it comes out the operculum, which is what this is. Let's draw the operculum here. Um, the operculum is this hard flap right there and it, it's attached at this area and it covers the gills. So that's the uh, operculum. And then also if we cut the operculum off, we're going to be taking a look at the gills, and the gills are these. It's the first line on the on the bottom diagram, and it covers a, it's this little half circle right here, and the gills are the site of respiration. Um, you can see them here. Um, you can see it here. These are the gills. Now they're not normally this color. They're actually usually a red, and I'm going to show you some pictures of them. But that's the site of respiration. The, the water would uh, travel in through the mouth and out past over the gills, and there is dissolved oxygen. Oxygen that is absorbed in the water through diffusion, and uh, um, the, the gills are designed and evolved to take that water out of the, like that oxygen out of the water and um, take it into the blood system so that the fish can undergo respiration. Um, the oxygen acts as the final ion acceptor in the electron transport chain, allowing ATP to be produced at 38 or 36 uh, ATP per glucose molecule, as opposed to only four as an anaerobic respiration. So, uh, this is what the gills look like. You can see, you get a good idea that they're much pinker than they are in the picture. And, and here's another version where someone has removed the gills from the, uh, the fish. And again, they're very colorful. There's a lot of blood that flows through them because you've got to get all that, that blood uh, oxygenated and into the body. So, um, And that's the external anatomy of the fish. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you take a look at the study guide that we went over in class or come and see me during uh, class and ask a question. I'll be glad to answer it. I hope you're preparing for the test. Uh, see you on the test day. Good luck. <laughs>